everyone. I'm Keisha Charman and I'm back. And I'm Veta. <laughs> Just kidding. Here's the DIY hair growth shampoo that I created. You'll need a heat proof container, African black soap, my special herbal tea, which I'll give details on in just a minute, Jamaican black castor oil, hemp tea tree soap, lavender essential oil, and peppermint essential oil. Oh yeah, and some vitamin E oil too. First things first, I take a grips amount of the black soap and chop it into small chunks. You don't want the chunks to be too big because they won't fully melt. And you don't want them to be too small because as soon as you start pouring in the tea, it'll compress and not melt. So actually make medium sized chunks. <laughs> then go ahead and pour in your tea. Rewind. <laughs> this is dried horsetail. It has a ton of uses, so definitely do some research. But it is very rich in minerals and nutrients, including silica. It's very rich in silica. Silica helps to stimulate blood flow to the scalp and it encourages healthy hair growth. Obviously, if you have any health concerns, make sure you consult with a doctor before ingesting, okay? There are a couple ways you can incorporate horsetail tea in your hair routine. You can use the tea in your DIY shampoo, as I am. You can also use it on its own, cooled, and as a rinse. To use it as a rinse, you wanna shampoo out your hair and with the cooled horsetail tea, rinse your hair with it, let it sit for about five minutes as you would a, sh a conditioner, and then rinse it out. Also, you can drink horsetail. Make it into a tea, drink it hot, drink it cold. I would highly recommend adding some honey or agave or brown sugar because it's very bitter. And trust me, I usually don't add sweeteners to my tea, so trust me, it's bitter. <laughs> Make sure to strain it before using as a rinse or shampoo. Okay, back to business. I added the tea to melt the black soap. I let it sit for about 24 hours, unbothered, and it melts it all the way through. I stirred it. To fill it out, make sure there's no chunks, and as you can see, it's really runny. Not like your typical shampoo, but that's okay. Your lather will still be thick and luxurious. Then I added a few tablespoons of my hemp tea tree soap, which is great for a healthy scalp. Then I added a couple tablespoons of Jamaican black castor oil, which is great at reversing thinning hair and regrowing minor bald spots and thickening up your hair. Plus, adding this oil will help balance out the drying effect that the soaps may cause. Then I added about 10 drops of peppermint oil and about 10 drops of lavender oil because I love the way those two oils mix the scents. I love the combination. And they're both great for stimulating hair growth as well. So I realized this shampoo was pretty potent so I decided to dilute it with some more of the horsetail tea. I added the horsetail tea cooled already to stretch it out. So I found an old container and cleaned it out so I can use the applicator top. I grabbed a funnel and worked it out. And after I filmed, I realized I didn't add any vitamin E oil, so I did it afterwards off camera. Remember when using natural ingredients, you want to add something that'll prolong the shelf life if you're not planning on using all of the product at one time. Vitamin E oil will help the shampoo last a bit longer, but in general, I wouldn't recommend making as much as I did at one time. I think I got a little overzealous. But yeah, I love this shampoo. I love horsetail tea. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and share. I'm Keisha Charmaine. Love, light, and locks.